Hello folks, so tonight I am going after the Dumbbell Nebula, and I've already got a couple hours of HA on this target, and I'm capturing oxygen right now. I'm going to try another HOO image, and uh, let's see, my mean readout is 481. Uh, I'm doing 3 minute exposures at gain 75, offset 15. Let's take a look at one raw image. There's a lot of oxygen in this target, so... Um, hopefully this is going to be an easy one to process. We'll, we'll have to see. And let's take a look at my guiding. My guiding has not been good lately. And I think after one and a half years, I don't know if my mount needs a tune-up or what. And at 0.93, um, I used to average in the 0.6 and 0.7 range. I never see that anymore. So um, I'm probably going to put in a support call with Celestron. And, and see if I can get to the bottom of what's going on because when my mount even points at a certain part of the sky, my deck flies all over the place. Or not the deck, the RA. I get huge spikes and it ruins my images. So um, I'm definitely going to have to take action on this. It's sad and I hope it doesn't get to the point where I'm going to have to send my mount in for repair. Because then I'll be out of action for a while. Although I still have an AVX mount, but I won't be able to use my big refractor with that one. So we'll see how it goes, and um, I'll see you later. Okay, so I managed to capture two hours of HA and two hours of oxygen. I really wanted more, but the way the skies are looking, I'm just going to wrap this up now and and move on to the next target. So this is what the data looks like. Almost the same amount of time captured for each one. And let's see what they look like. Um, this is after I did uh, an automatic background extraction for HA. It didn't make that much of a difference. But for oxygen, I actually ran a dynamic background extraction followed by an automatic background extraction. And uh, that usually seems to even it out for me. Like if you want to compare, the one on the right is before the extraction, and the one on the left is after I did two extractions. So this is what I like to work with, because I tried it without any extraction at all, and the, the combined image had a lot of brightness on the left and right side, so this really helps me out. And I ran two different kinds of combines. I tried the LRGB combine where I put HA in red and um, oxygen in green and blue. And I also tried to do the same thing with the SHO AIP script, which usually um, produces a better result, but maybe not this time. I just stuck with the LRGB. I'm, I decided to use the LRGB combined this time over the SHO AIP script. And like I said in, in other videos, if you're not sure how to use that SHO AIP script, um, check out my monkey head video. I show you how to use it in, in, in that video. And it's possible it it might have turned out too bright because maybe I didn't do a, a good job on the histogram when I made the data nonlinear. I've seen that before. But it doesn't matter. I like the, the result of the combine on the left. So I went with that one. So after the data was combined... I then ran a local histogram on it to try and peel away a little of that brightness. Um, sometimes HDMR multi-scale transform works, but I thought the local histogram did a, a little better job this time. It didn't peel too much away, but it was enough. And uh, let's see, so that's after a local histogram. And then I tried to, I, I ran um, I, I ran SCNR to get rid of that outer green layer. And you can see there's a level of green in there. And then I darkened up the background a little bit and denoised it. And then I used uh, Photoshop for the final touches to, you know, try and um, bring out some more saturation and make maybe make this a little bit more blue. And, and that's what I ended up with. That's my final image. What do you think? Um, now let me show you one more thing. I want to show you what I captured last year with my SCT version. And I think it's probably going to surprise you. So 
here's my SET version on the left versus the new one with my refractor on the right. Now the SET version certainly has more aperture, it has more focal length at 1260 versus 952 for my refractor here. But boy, I actually, uh, now that I go back to look at the SET version, hmm, it looks pretty dang good. I'm not sure what you guys think. Maybe this one on the left has more detail. Although I, I think the one on the, the right probably has better looking stars. I can see the stars are a little bit elongated or have coma, of course, with the SET version. But still, it, it looks pretty good. I, I bet a lot of people will think, eh, maybe Chuck, you did a better job last year. M maybe so. Hmm. And let's see if I run SCNR on this SCT version, see what happens there. Yeah, more blue. I mean, I want to print a metal version of this, and now I'm wondering, which one do I do? Decisions, decisions. Hey, I don't know. I hate to say I did a worse job this year, Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to think about it. <laughs> I will see you guys later.